In Chapter 14 of FE9, Empress Sanaki presses Elincia for evidence of her heritage, but unfortunately she doesn't have any. Ike vouches for her, but the word of an unwashed peasant doesn't really count for much. Luckily, it turns out that Sephiran, who is actually secretly the Prime Minister of Begnion, has already vouched for Elincia, and this whole discussion was just a charade. Ike loudly chastises Sanaki for all this courtly bullshit and nearly causes a situation, but nothing too bad comes of it. A few days pass and the grill mercenaries are soon hired by the Empress to do some clandestine wet work, and their mission is to seize cargo from a particular band of merchants, who turn out to be a group of slavers who target the goose. This is a fog map with some very important treasure, namely the only Vantage scroll in the game, located in a village in the upper left. Vantage is an incredible skill in FE9 as it is always active with no requirements, allowing for strong units to always attack first in the enemy phase, so they can clear entire armies while taking significantly reduced damage. I moved through the fog to try to reach it, but unfortunately I didn't quite anticipate how quickly I would actually need to move. Because of my lack of knowledge of the map, I end up advancing a lot slower than I need to, bogged down by an enemy composition that I'm not familiar with. In a risky gambit to reach the vantage scroll before the bandits can, I push deep into the fog with Titania, using Joe to clean up some enemies on the way. But unfortunately, this results in Joe being put in a very precarious spot, and a bow knight armed with a steel bow emerges from the fog to one-shot her. Immediately afterwards, Makalov, Marcia's debt-ridden brother, moves in to attack Titania and is immediately killed by her counter-attack. That's fine, because I couldn't recruit him anyway since Marcia is dead. But to add insult to injury, after all of this, a bandit moves and destroys a village containing the game's only vantage scroll. Having gained nothing of worth from this map, I finish clearing the enemies to wrap it up and get the hell out of there. As the map concludes, we cut to a meeting of the Laguz kings, where they have a lengthy discussion to establish that they plan on doing absolutely nothing.